Meow. So when I thought helicopter mom, I wasn't thinking overprotective, endearing mom. I was thinking like mom with huge tip. Hello everyone and welcome to a game I'm really excited for. This game's called After Party. And this game was made by the same company that did Oxenfree. And it has a killer voice acting cast. As Ashley Birch from Life is Strange, she played Chloe. As Dave Fenoy from The Walking Dead, he played Lee. It also has some other Telltale favorites like Aaron Yvette, who played Sasha from Tales from the Borderlands. I think she also played Snow White. And honestly, it's a giant list of a bunch of great voice actors, but those are some of the ones that we've played on the channel before that some of you might recognize. So, like I said, killer voice acting cast, awesome company with awesome games. And we're gonna go ahead and get into it here. I don't know if this is supposed to be a scary game like Oxenfree was, but I believe the premise is that two people made it to the underworld and the only way you can escape is if you out drink the devil. And we're live streaming on Twitch. Top right hand corner, you can see the chat. They said hi to you guys as I was talking. And then we will go ahead and get into the game and have a good time. Well, this is it. Our journey has come to its end. This is it, chat. Our lives as we know them are over. What? Get three time! Adults now! <laughs> no, 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 seriously though. I just wanted to say thanks for coming out, fellow breathers. We are officially college graduates. So congrats, monkeys. Ooh. There's beer in the pool, uh, condoms in the fridge. Ew. And if you can't be careful, there's a clinic like three blocks down. They'll do you cheap if you give them our promo code. You're whatever this is. Okay. We came, we saw. If we leave now, we can still make the donut place. Let's go before Whoa, we get recognized. Hello. I almost didn't recognize you. Hi, Allison. Can you believe we graduated? And what better way to end school than with an indigenous late century style mixer coupled with property damage and substance abuse? Well. Oh, I love that, that y your outfit, Lola. It's so, it's so You're fun. You're always doing your own thing, which, <laughs> you know, which I love. Okay, I'm just gonna pause for a second so I can go on a little rant. You see what she did there? This is something that I cannot stand about current freaking culture is there's this thing where people like make jokes and the joke is that they over explain the punchline and i just think that's the dumbest type of humor and i hate it it's hap it, it happens everywhere now everywhere and i just ah, i hate that style of humor who the lady who just said that joke in the game oh your punchline <laughs> okay yeah this is it's fun <laughs> right i kept telling lola we should have hung out with you guys more then why didn't you you don't need me to go. We're not each other's sidekicks. Because he needs his wingman. Wing human. Have you met Ted? Who wants to get drunk? Let's get a drink. Like, right now. Come on. The table's right. It's here. Oh, whatever speeds this process up. <laughs> it's here. Well, I'm playing now. Look oh, at me. Man, I'm sorry. This is my cousin, Katie. She's going to be starting here in the fall. Have you met Ted? Hey. I was just telling her about you guys, how you've been friends forever, like a weirdly long time. <laughs> Everyone always thinks you're dating. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, never, ever, ever. I know now. Okay, but... take it easy, ever. Lola. Okay, don't need to salt the earth. Leave me a fingernail of dignity here. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just saying it'd be too weird now. You're wonderful. You know you're wonderful. Wonderful. But you can't date someone you've already seen cry at a coffee commercial. Let's drink. Come on. They have them right over here. Are we getting that drink, Milo? What kind of commercial? Coffee? Must. Oh, interesting. Wonder how you make one of those emotional. Hi. Is this? Is this where the uh the ales are? It's all two dollar vodka mixed with three dollar lemonade. Want one? Yes, please. Milo, Lola. It really helps pave over those awkward beats in the conversation. You could almost say it literally gives you more options in life. It's evolutionary, you know? I read somewhere that monkey humans invented alcohol. In the same epic that the octopus got that eighth leg, finally. Yeah, I probably need something to, uh, to settle me a little. Don't get too settled. I'm not dragging your ass through the quad ever again. <laughs> That shady chiropractor said my skeleton looked like a question mark. Oh. Yeah, Ew. so do you guys want one? <laughs> She's warm. like, uh, okay, I'm right do here. You want one? Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay, fine. I uh, always take one if he does, and vice versa. Makes it so we can lie to each other about how drunk we're getting. <laughs> Attention! All skin bags who now have to pay taxes. 
Please make your way to the dance floor. It's time to shake. <laughs> okay, really quick, give Katie meaningful life advice about higher learning. Mine was don't major in philosophy, law, any form of medicine, or theology, because those are all career suicide. Oh, and don't buy your books from the campus store. You don't want the clerk there knowing your pin number. Make more friends <laughs> than I nice did. <laughs> uh, try to make more friends than yeah, I. Yeah, that's good. Thanks. Keep in touch. Uh, okay, thanks. Allison Haynes, ladies and gentlemen. And seriously, don't take offense at the. I meant it when I said you were wonderful. Mm -hmm. No, it's fine. Allison's just an idiot. Can't wait to read her posts about her summer vacay. <laughs> Drinking pina coladas out of some cruise boat what magician's a... navel. Yeah, she seemed a little, uh, sloopy. Sloopy. Sloopy? Sloopy. Sloppy Christ, I can't even say the damn. Well, whatever. I'm not going to let that be the last meaningful conversation you ever have at school. No, if you want to go, we can go. Oh, no, 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 no. We're leaving. This is us just saying bye to some folks on our way out the door. So pick whoever looks the least stupid and make this quick. Okay, so things I'm noticing real quick. Sorry for pausing. Top right-hand corner, there's a red solo cup with something going on. That's why I had moved my camera in the chat and everything over to this side because that looks like it might be important. Also, if I'm not saying much, sorry. It's because they're talking a lot and I don't want to talk over them. I hope you guys appreciate that. It kind of reminds me of, uh, what, Gilmore Girls? Where it's just like everybody's always talking so fast and the conversations move so fast that it's just like you got to adjust to it. Just letting you guys know where I'm at. <laughs> you crack me up, though. Yeah, Allison. I keep telling stupid Lola how fun parties are. But she's allergic to having oh. a good time, so... That's you. That's what you sound like. Hey, I have said that we should go to parties more since they can be, by definition... Fun. <laughs> parties aren't like how they are in the movies. They have two settings, boring or traumatic. So let's just be thankful it's this. I'm gonna press this button. Man, I will not miss this place at all. Not that I'm, I don't wanna sound like I hate it. No, I know. It's just, I'm glad I'll never have another hot flash cause someone's in my seat, that's all. Milo's a lightweight? He's drinking three sips of his one drink and he's like, Woo! Okay, Milo. Don't get trashy here. It's like half of one drink. You should have seen me on Saturday, Jesus. I could drink 12 Milos. Okay, let's talk. No, 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 no. When, when the guy was all, not today, and then the smoking hot chick was all, uh... Right? And those effects. Oh, I couldn't even tell those weren't... <gasps> and the score? Oh, <laughs> movie nerd awesome. alert. <laughs> Forget the score, man. What about the sets? <laughs> Film geek alert. Movie nerds, starboard bow, land ho! No, but seriously, movies are our children's future in so many ways. <laughs> uh, you're... Psycho? <laughs> Milo. He's the one who had his wisdom teeth removed and then threw up all over the admissions director. Oh, yeah! At least I'll be <laughs> remembered. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> it was pretty bad. We're going for it. Hey, at least I'll be remembered. Embarrassing becomes endearing in like a decade. For some things. Sigma Kappa gave you a nickname, right? Herpaderp? <laughs> Chunkamunk. Or was it Colonel Shitlips? Well, it was nice catching up. Have a good summer. See ya. He's a high school grad? No, he's a that? college grad. Okay, I know that could have gone better. Shitlips. I mean, Milo. <laughs> Who cares, man? Seriously, they're just being dickbags. Well, it doesn't feel that way. It feels like I'm a freshly born antelope just learning how to walk. I should know how to make adult friends by now. You just make it so much harder than it has to be. Okay, Sven fucking Ghoulie. You you go and talk to people and, and, and teach me. Show me the ropes. Let's... I, I want to see how easy it is. Let's, oh, I'm playing... Let's see. Okay, I'm playing as Lola now. What's the mystery? I can see you're intimidated by my electric personality. It's understandable. Oh, Jesus. Class is now in session. Watch and learn. So, I unlock more dialogue options based on how tipsy I am, basically, is what I'm seeing here. Dance floor, talk. Oh, definitely dance floor. You want to make friends? I'm not thinking of dancing. Let's I just dance. want to stand here and watch for three seconds. <sighs> okay. Noted. No. I want to dance. Get crazy, girl. No? Hey, Billy, can you can you do me a favor and change the music up a little? I uh, I can't, actually. They only made one song for the DJ. What does that mean? I mean, yeah, a sure thing. <laughs> just after this one. Okay. Interesting. Guess that doesn't matter at all. Where do we die? 
<laughs> like, have you ever thought that what you consider your personality is, is just the dream your unconscious body is having? No, totally. And like, what we think of as money is just like- Don't overheat Einstein. Just like Einstein. of value. This sounds like an accidental admission. Like, uh, like when that guy told me he didn't care if people peed in the community shower. Hey, this is Lola. I'm- Colonel Shitlips. We know. <laughs> Oh, come on. I... that was... Lola, was it? Are you a friend of Captain Pukemouth or Townie? Wow. Auditing the school? Thinking of transferring here, maybe? I don't remember you either. Because if you are, don't believe the brochure. Yeah, it's fine. I get it. Everybody blends together. Like you, right? I don't remember you specifically, just like everyone else that's exactly like you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, good to see you guys. Um, <clears throat> keep it... keep it up. Oh, bye, Chin Flaps. Bye, Nola. Milo, you wanted to mingle. Why are you sheepdogging me? Lola, they don't even remember you. And the only reason they remember me is because I pooped out of my mouth once. I mean, how sad is this? We went to the school. These are our peers. Who cares what any of these people think about us? We graduated. Remember, we are done with these idiots. Lola. College was a non-stop, inescapable popularity contest where the winners rule over an imaginary world. Okay. Do you think anyone in society is going to care what they called you in college? For anybody who's going into college, college is usually where you get away from that. That's kind of more of a high school thing. Don't be nervous if you're going into college. It's usually not that much like, it's not so clicky. College is, is a way to get away from it, at least for me. <laughs> That's how it was for me. Well. What's going to be etched on your metallic space crypt will be what you did in the actual real world. And the real world starts right fucking now. Everyone, Harry people, your attention please. Harry people. Stop the awesome music. Is someone named Milo and Lola here? Actually, this is... That's probably two separate people. Milo and or Lola, are you here? Fuck yeah, we're here. Milo and Lola in the house. <laughs> what? Milo, Lola, I'm very sorry to tell you this, but both your parents were just run over by a train. What? What? They were scissored in half, but the wheels are keeping their guts in place. But as soon as they move the train again, their intestines will fall out of their bodies and they'll die. What? The EMTs are keeping them alive so you have time to be with them in their final moments. What? It's their last request. <laughs> Milo, come on, they're just fucking with you. Huh? I'm so happy it's Friday, right? Thank God I don't have to do my kegels. Uh, my kegels? Holy shit. Uh, are, are you? Oh. Oh, uh, do you? Are you? Is what's happening to you okay? Or? Lola, I... What? Is this a... <laughs> oh, look at this! They, 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 they still think they're alive! They think they're alive! <laughs> what? I, what is this? Oh, look at his dumb face! Okay, what the fuck is going on? You freaks should know that my uncle's a volunteer fireman, so I can get an axe whenever I want. You want to know what's going on? Well, we'll tell you what's going on. Hey, what the hell is going on in here? <laughs> Mr. Radamantis! We were just assisting in the transition I don't between. I hear it. I told you guys to wash the floors with pony blood, not fuck with the newborns. Clean all this shit up. I mean it. And Milo, Lola, you're late. Luckily, there's a processor down the road, and you better double time it if you want to get in before close. Uh, d double, double time it. Uh, late for what? The wildly expensive costume ball everyone is apparently going to. Sorry to break this to you, but I'm not a parade float. What? 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 You died. Oh. Died? Ten minutes ago. I'd head to the process station now if I were you. What the... I... Uh, okay. Let's, uh, let's go get processed. I, I don't... And the rest of you? Put all this crap away. Some evil nuns are dying in a bus crash tomorrow. So, I want this place spotless. <laughs> you're... You're probably used to this, but I... Uh, we have a couple of questions. Wrong. You want the door there. I'm not a door. Go down the road. The processor will explain everything. He pointed this way, so let's go this hey, way. Uh, I got tickets to the 19 Black Sox fighting a pack of wolves tonight. 
I can't really be doing overtime. The wolves have Toy Cobb, asshole. So spoiler alert, the socks are loose. What is going on right now? Are we gonna find out how they died? <clears throat> I hope so. Oh, it's trivia. Okay. Oh my God, Nola, we're dead. We're fucking dead, and there's a god. <laughs> there's a god, and we're dead. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Lola! Holy shit! Yeah, how did we even die? I don't even remember how we got to the party. Was there a party? What do I know? <laughs> I'm so confused. Hey. Hi, hey, how's it going? Hey. hey, man. Yeah, which way should we be going now? Yeah, Tuesdays are always slow. The custodians get bored. You know how it is. But the processing station's just down the way there. Start walking. You can't miss it. Okay, I guess I'll just go. Whatever. Don't want to miss it. So, by the way, Oxenfree was a choice-based game, so the things you did could really affect I the end of the game. can't even remember, like, when did we go to that party? Not sure if it'll be the Was same here. Party? How do we even die? I can barely remember anything. Look at this place. What, what are we even standing on? Is this a rock? What, why is it sticking to my shoes? You know what? Screw it. I don't even... This has to be a mistake. We, we had plans. And people can't die if they have plans. And they can't get sent to hell if they babysat their neighbor's kids for free. <laughs> yeah, this feels like wine and sushi wrong. We should, we should uh, wine and sushi. ask the processing station guy. Hopefully it's a person and not like an automated ATM. Uh, I just can't believe this is happening. Hell cannot be real. It just doesn't make any sense. How do you think customer it's service cheating. is in hell? The whole universe shouldn't be that train station where I had my socks stolen. Hey, Milo, I'm as surprised as you are, okay? My mom made me go to church until I was 12. I mean, I, I just sat there and read Mad Magazine until I stopped hearing, Can I get a witness? Yes. <laughs> this is wrong. Way wrong. And, and, and there better be somebody at this station whose job it is to file paperwork somewhere. And, and, and we'll, we'll get this. They'll fix it. It'll get fixed. Where? We'll be fine. Sure. You, you kind of paused there before you said sure, do you? Do you know that? <laughs> it kind of makes it sound a little like you wait, wait, don't wait, wait. believe Look at it. It says, the scales of judgment. Where Osiris weighed Satan against a feather in a drunken bet to see who gained the most weight over winter break? <laughs> Rude. <clears throat> okay. I'm dig hey, hey, either one of you guys, Jimmy Bolanger, James Whitney Bolanger? Uh, what? Uh, huh? No? Tu t'appelles comment? No, neither of us are whoever you're talking about, so don't, like, hurt us, please. <laughs> Wrong vocation, but don't worry, I'm not too insulted. Well, sorry to bother you. Have a good one. That's definitely Ashley Bridge right there. She's gonna be main character. No, come back. Come here. No. You run from this. Come on. Come on. Okay, never mind. <clears throat> wow, Milo's got. Wait, no, Milo. Lola. Lola's got some. They both got long legs. Jesus. Hey, hey, kids. Hey, you want to buy rug? Listen, I got dodecahedrons, punch bowls, uh, uh, the toilet covers with St. Michael's face on them. Sorry. Maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll come back later. Yeah, they all say that. You want to buy some rug, chat? Okay, Marcy Sullivan, Marcy Sullivan. Oh, uh, yes, here, here. Marcy, how you doing? Mm, not too good. Yeah, yeah, I know. Just proceed down to table three, if you please. Thank you very much. Take as much, I'll take all day to get there. Yeah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> all right, now, Lola, Lola Wolf. Oh, is Here's that me? Lola Wolf here. Hey. <laughs> it's like John's last name. Lola Wolf. Uh, present. Oh, you still have your mouth. Great. How about Sang Bong? Is Sang Bong here? Milo, you're up. Sang Bong? What? Anybody know this guy? 
Uh, I... My friends usually call me Mila. Uh, a little over-eager pluralizing friends there, but okay, <laughs> sure. This... Okay, this is weird. It says you two are going together. Uh, what does that mean? Proceed on to table two, please. Uh, I'd like to get home before my wife gets the good spot in the garage. <laughs> All right, moving, moving right along. <laughs> okay. Is table two. Okay, that's... This must be us. You know, it's funny. I... I'm kind of... I feel like I'm sort of adjusting already. Like, I've just... I'm getting some level of emotional control, at least. Oh that... my god, Milo, we're dead. We're fucking dead. And we are in hell. How is this not hitting me before? We are in hell, and we are dead. Yeah, I know. It's... There doesn't seem to be any bright sides here. Right? Hi guys, I'm Barbados. No relation to the island, which ugh, I hate that I even have to say that now. I'll be doing your personality audit before the processing commences. I have your file here on my phone. <laughs> Sorry, I'm coming from the gym. Look, we there has there's been a mistake. We don't we don't even know why or how we died, so Yeah, you know how when you're a kid you stop remembering your infancy past a certain age? It's because your brain reconfigures itself to make more room. Ditto here. What? So when you pierce the mortal veil, only the important stuff stays. Phone numbers, the smell of your mother's hair. All of that garbage gets dumped like a red-headed boyfriend. <laughs> so, okay, so do you know how we died? I surely don't. No, sir, no, ma'am, not my department. I don't do collections. Wait, wait, make more room? For what? We're dead. And how? You're going to be here for a very long time. Like, for eternity. And a lot of new, mostly painful memories need their baby rooms made up before delivery. Which means the spank bank is getting converted whether you like it or not. Look, I know what this is. I've seen white guys bribe hotel clerks in movies, okay? Just tell us what you want to let us go home. Hmm? Oh, sorry, I wasn't listening. Ah! Ow. <laughs> Okay, this is novel, you two going together. Normally that's reserved for murder suicides and moms with albino sons. <laughs> but we'll tag team it, all right? Answer the following questions without thinking. Milo, regardless of the truth, have you ever suspected a lover was cheating on you? There are no wrong answers. Regardless of the well, truth? except that one. Uh, no, not really. No, not really. Okay, cool. All right, Lola. Which image is closest to representing what was your ideal life? Closest, remember. Uh, okay, even though I'm sure this is a trap. The exec running shit. <laughs> I would have guessed that one for you. Ooh, I would have. That's so funny. You guys, can I just say, you're doing really well. Oh, thanks. Really? <laughs> on man okay you see that head over there uh -huh. I, I mean ugh. <laughs> all right fling that thing up into the hamper like you're George Gervin okay you want oh boy oh oh god yeah, oh boy oh this is harder than it looks chat definitely oh oh boy Good hand-eye coordination. I'll put you down as functioning mammal. <laughs> Lightning oh. round. This is a word association, so just say the first thing that pops into your head. Ring. Ding. Oh. Uh, phone? Lola, drugs. Drugs? Just, uh, intense? Milo, crowds. Joy. Joy? Milo, I mean, Lola, break. Bones! Like breaking bones? Ho, ho, ho! What could this be, hmm? All the way from the deepest, darkest broom closets of your mind. Lola, what? The reigning pride of your ceaseless sorrow. The sultan of revulsion. The drain on your brain. That pebble in your shoe you just can't get out. I give you your personal demon! How in tarnation are you, man? I'm 
just so excited to be working with you, with anyone, really. It's just, I am so ready for this shit. We're gonna be a team, a real partnership. I want you to know that, oh crap, there's two of you? I, I'm so sorry, little lady, I didn't see you there. But, uh, oh, let me start over, okay? Whew. I'm Sister Mary Warnhorn, and I will be assisting you guys with your mental anguish here in hell. We're gonna be brain bunk mates. You're hungry, I'm hungry, you're sad, I'm... I mean, that means I'm doing my job. <laughs> yeah, hi. <laughs> oh, hi! This is a lot. Sister Wormhorn here is your personal demon. Slow down, Barbados. What does that mean? Well, it's a comfort inhibitor only you and other demons can see. And it's so during your off hours, there's still somebody to nudge you into traffic sometimes. Off hours? Okay. Well, what, is, uh, what does that mean? Okay. Hi, right, Tom. So this feels a lot like the first day of work at a place where you're just like, oh God, what's going on? Um, off hours. I'm just gonna go for a little walk. Okay, I guess there's nothing over this way and we're not talking about what just happened. It's just very quiet. Hmm. Well, let's go back to processing here and see if they have anything to say. Yeah, Dev, no. The fact that you only ate free range chicken doesn't change anything. <laughs> okay, now that you have all been appointed your personal demons, we can now assign you your torture. Your torture will take place during regular office hours by a certified sadist. Exempting holidays and Medusa's birthday, even though I don't know why we bother that, that bitch still says she's 39. Her torture? I, I thought, doesn't hell just like generically suck yeah i didn't know there were seat assignments i would think it an apparentness that cannibals and canoe tippers shouldn't get the same treatment but yes you all get different shit that happens to you <laughs> abigail cunningham <laughs> yes your bones will be broken every day by a ball peen hammer for the sin of repeatedly misusing the express lane in grocery stores <laughs> but i always have more than 15 things <laughs> oh my god oh my god <laughs> milo she's Dev Sedona and Marcy Sullivan. Uh, no. <laughs> it's you. I, we just did this like two minutes ago. He knows. Oh my God, Marcy, will you just back me up on something for once? Oh boy. Sir, um, sir, excuse me, but we, we are actually good people. I know you're eager to start eating worms and pissing sand, but this will just be a moment. Now, for robbing all those liquor stores, Dev will be suspended from a pole by his genitals. <gasps> while children use your head like a tether ball, weather permitting. Marcy, your tits will be consumed by snapping turtles, only for them to regrow larger every day, giving you intense back pain when you jog. But, but, we, we only robbed Jewish liquor stores. <laughs> what? Now, Milo and Lola, for the sin of... For the sin of being too late to get assigned to punishment, you get to wander the city until tomorrow. Have fun, see you later, I'm going to get drunk. What's our punishment? Wait, um, what is, what's our thing gonna be? Our, our torture? Our hours are nine to six, guys. Can't you just tell us now? Come back in the morning when we're open. Okay, but, but what are we supposed to do until then? Sightsee, meet people, might as well carve out your shitting hole. And hey, don't worry, you'll be having maggots forced up your nose soon enough. Well, what the hell are we supposed to do now? Ha! <laughs> It's quitting time. Feisty's heard this pulled the prank hey, on. Hey, you two could have told me that guy got another ride. What? Bowlinger. Jimmy? I was looking for him earlier. The guy got another ride. That's all. Uh, okay. Yep. Or, uh, you could have fucking told uh, me. Sorry. We're, um, sorry? We didn't know we were supposed to tell you anything. We just, we just got here. I'm just fucking with you. Sorry, you're confused. Uh, it's, I'm, I'm being mean. Okay. I'm a psychopop. Friend of Urshanabi, Tooth of Phlegius, Charon's lost dog. Yeah, one of those. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm a I'm a cab driver, <laughs> a ferryman oh. to be a uh, specific. Oh, a psycho pump. Yeah, you you got it. Yeah. What would hell need cab drivers for? I don't know how aware you are of the infrastructure here, but I just fell through the floor into a phantasmagorium. Ooh, yeah, no, uh, that that'll happen. 
Look, I just clocked in, but I need a fare. You guys look clean enough. You want to roll with me on a chore I got to do? It's at first and Izzard. I got to see about a friend, but I'll introduce you to some people. Huh? I'm Sam, by the way. Sam Hill. Short for Samantha. Short for Silithial Machidial. Milo. Lola. <laughs> Mr. Milo? Miss Lola? I'm nicer than I look. What do you say? Uh, sure. I promise I won't bite. Okay, thanks. I'm getting the same feeling I did when that guy in the van tried to sell me a raccoon. I'm choosing to trust this. What the fuck else are you gonna do with your night, right? Come on, my ride's this way. Won't be a long trip. Uh, so, uh, hell, huh? Yeah, the days have worn away, haven't they? I can tell you cats were new. Dead-eyed and pig-tailed. So I guess I'll hit the questions everyone has. First of all, whatever church you went to, whatever faith, they were a little right and a lot wrong. And if you didn't go to church, you were kind of right too. It's not like God takes attendance. <laughs> uh, reincarnation's a thing, but it's... Ah, oh, here's my little bundle of joy. I should give her a name. Never really had the time, though. Or the desire. Hop on in, <clears throat> but mind the leather. I would have loved hearing the reincarnation thing, kind of like triplets. What do you mean, kind of like triplets? Perfectly safe. Don't worry. Has a floor for your feet and seats for your ass. Every, uh, everything a vehicular transport would need. Oh, okay. It's, uh, the, the seat's wet. Oh, yeah, that's probably your end. Okay, everybody in? Great. Oh, cool, thanks. <laughs> So, you're dead, you're in hell, it's bewildering, I know, but like moving to a new place or cutting up a body, it's best to just focus on one thing at a time. So, oh. for instance, what the fuck are we driving on right now? This is the River Styx. It's an immaterial, trans-dimensional spirit course that connects all the little islands of hell and provides fairy women like me a job. It used to cost money, islands. but then someone upstairs finally realized we don't really have an economy down here, <clears throat> so now it's free to the public. Um, islands of hell? Hell isn't just like one big land mass. What you think of hell is what's called the nine circles, the uh, conurbation where everyone gets tortured during punch-in. But outside the nine circles is an infinite chain of islands we call nowhere. And it's what you're in now. God's coloring book, I guess you could say. Everything comes from the abstract, the abyss, the outer realm where he set his dark materials. It's a long story, longer than we have time for. Right now, at least. But hang tight. We're almost there. Okay. Let's just sit here and hang out. You know, no big deal. Just whatever. Just, I'm cool. You're cool. Uh, okay, here we are. It's cool. Watch your step getting off. <clears throat> I know sometimes you kids like to play at the shore, but you fuckers sink fast. So, and I ran out of the house without my flippers today. So, just keep your eyes on each other's toes. Hey, I played water polo in gym class voluntarily, okay? Milo and I can egg beat her like our lives depend on it. I'm sure you can, Lola. I'm, I'm sure that if you were on the Titanic, we'd have a lot more Polish people today. <laughs> hey, hey, Sam, Sam! What? Did you, did you hear the one about the blind guy who walked into a bar? He walked into the table and shares next. <laughs> Get some better material. How? So not that either of you asked, but this is first an Izzard. I think the tourism board calls it the bludgeoning capital of nowhere. So, uh. Use that information as you will. Just don't shake everybody's hand, is what I'm saying. And look at people's shoes when you talk to them. So, like, people live here? Uh, well, nobody really lives in hell. We're all just kind of part of it. It's like North Dakota, or those secret Chinese time travelers stuck in old Chicago. <laughs> okay. Hey, okay. excuse me. We're trying not to get dumbass all over our pants here. A lot of hot takes. Wait, why'd we come here? If it's so dangerous, I mean, these are the types of people you think we should know? They're the only type you can know. If you wanted a different crowd, you probably shouldn't have drowned I all those kittens. I like 18 goddamn times. You'll get your stomach back when you learn to behave. Drowned kittens? What? We were kitten drowners? Sam, hey, how's it going? Eh, pretty good, pretty good. Is, uh, Forney in there? Fornius, yeah. He's fiddling with his dick somewhere. All the kids with you? Yeah, they're cute, right? I'm playing tour guide on my coffee break. All right, well, anything happens, I get their hair. Okie smokey, who's drinking? Cause I'm buying. Just kidding, you can drink for free, cause we're in hell. Is Fornius like a, a, um, a demon drinking buddy or something? He's a middle manager in the fifth circle. Sometimes he makes requests, you know, specific souls for his department. 
I think some tech startup guy had a heart attack sport hunting homeless people in Portugal, so maybe it's that. So, whenever you're ready. Oh, yeah, let me just look at this real quick. You, um, okay? Yeah, I think he's taking a time out. Okay. Well, this is nice little, little scenery we have here. We fix horns. Okay, we got a little strip bar here. Um, <clears throat> it's just, it's just a lot. <laughs> I'm loving it. I just don't feel like I can fit a word in edgewise, so I'm just kind of soaking it all in with you guys here. So I hope that's okay. At least we have the chat underneath me. They can talk without making noise. So hi, chat. This is your show. And I'll just, uh, I'll just be along for the ride, just like YouTube will be. So let's just, let's just go inside and, you know, meet some people, whatever. Here goes nothing. A bottle for everyone. Is that crazy? It's fun, right? My balls hadn't dropped yet. How would I think that was funny? Boom. Just drink it. Don't even well, look at me. Well, if it isn't the smelliest pile of puke in all of nowhere, Samantha Hill. How the heck fire are ya? Hey, Forney. Perfect timing. Guys, this is Forneus. Forneus, this is Milo and Lola. So you adopted two human children, and those are the names you gave them? I didn't pick their names. But you did adopt them. They're not mine. I'm just showing them around. We looked adorable at the person pound, okay? She was powerless to resist. <laughs> Tommy's having his party upstairs. Want a drink? You read my mind. Sure. Wait, Sam. What, uh, what's the problem? Look, we, we didn't want to get into it earlier, but we, we actually want to try and get home if, uh, if that's... Okay, yeah, all right, that's, uh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, we, we can get into it in a bit. Just, uh, just follow me, okay? Uh, uh, all right. Okay, can't wait to get into it. Fornius, with one F, and we're just going upstairs to a Tommy's death day party. See you up there, kids. Um, do I not get to walk through here? Oh, well, I'll say the magic password. Um, excuse me. Private party. But our friend just went up. Sam, she's on the list. You ain't. Uh, yeah. I got nothing to say to that. <laughs> Tommy boy, the man of the hour. <laughs> hey, Father Van Dyke. Get over here. I got a new cocktail I need reviewed. Well, I'll happily be your willing test pilot. I think that's the guy having the party upstairs. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I'm not wearing a bunny costume. What? Uh, get him to invite us up. Get him to invite us up. Yes, let's get a drink. I wonder how much it takes to get sloshed while you're in hell. All right, Tommy. Sorry for the wait. What can I get you? Ah, oh, jeez. I don't know. What's, uh, what do you recommend? Top shelf. A case of lung batter just came in. Ew. Excuse me, barkeep. We would like a... Um... Hey, can't you stupid pieces of shit see there's a conversation happening here? <laughs> Van Dyke, it's okay. They're new. You're new, right? How are you liking hell so far? Was the suicide pact worth it? Or uh, eating 50 raw eggs? I don't know what young people are into nowadays. <laughs> well, it's supposed to suck, right? Would it be insulting if I said that I'm kind of surprised I still have all my teeth? Nah, the insults here are typically more deliberate. She's Lola, <laughs> I'm Milo. We're actually just trying to- Wait, 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 you're new. We gotta have a toast. Do a shot with me, come on. Van Dyke, three brass bulls if you please. Sure thing. If you ate before you got here, you might want to pre-throw up. <laughs> and, sure, our livers are unkillable. Might as well take advantage. Wow, really? Guys, you should be honored. Lola is not the type for spontaneous, uh, Revelry. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go. Okay, cats and jammer kids, listen up. Above ground booze is watered down milk, but here, this shit ain't two percent. Oh boy. Father Van Dyke's been serving alcohol since Jesus was still overcharging for kitchen cabinets. Alcohol. Around the bend. Let's go. Oh boy. Cheers. Cheers. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, goes down smooth. Now, you should notice you feel a little empowered, right? Maybe a little freer? 
Or if you have eyeballs, you'll notice you have an extra choice floating around in your brain. <laughs> yes, it could be said that you are now unshackled from previous concerns of societal appropriateness. Hey, you're right. Feels kind of weird. Like I grew an extra toe. You'll get used to it. But be careful what you order. Different drinks affect people different ways. Like, you know, for instance... Hey, Jim Jum! What the fu- What the shit is that you got on your head? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sir, I I'm not, uh, Jim Jum. Ah, sure you are, Jim Jum. <laughs> Why, I even called you you last, uh, yesterday morning? At night? Yeah. Let's try this one. Hey, dickhead, get the hell out of my friend's face before you start pissing me off. Jesus, you, you don't have to raise your voice at me. I know when I'm not wanted, I can, I can read body languages. Where's the latrine anyway? See you later. See? Having an extra little bit of confidence can really help keep the sailing smooth down here. Or, you know, it can get the shit kicked out of you. Whichever side the coin lands on. But like I was saying, brass bulls tend to make people a little ornery. But try different drinks for different results. Christ, they sound like a fucking car commercial. <laughs> to Ted, Tommy, are we having a rematch or have your balls not grown back yet? <laughs> hey, I'm coming over there, all right? Nice meeting you kids. Can I come? Crap, we should. We're missing our chance. We should go ask him, right? I mean, he's our ticket upstairs. Um, yeah, but we should probably get a drink. Yeah, we should. Don't have to twist my arm. Uh, barkeep, what's uh on the menu this morrow's eve? A fine selection, let me tell you. Oh boy, we have choices. <laughs> so, what do we want here, chat? Liquid courage, originally crafted by Leopold II, served over ice in a pint glass. Digestion aid. Vodka horse blood, demon radish, a favorite of Alexander the Great. Prison bully, methanol, colored solvents with a touch of sugar, slightly more enjoyable than death. And it won't let me pick the bloody stool. Come on, let me see, let me see the bloody stool. I just want to see the bloody stool. Why do, why do you give me an option for bloody stool and you don't let me pick bloody? I just want the bloody stool. Can I please have the bloody stool? Come on, look at. But what does it say? Liquid, li bloody liquid. Ugh. Let's try this one. Uh, the great Amethian sounds pretty cool. A great Amethian. All right. Don't eat the demon radish. It won't make you more drunk. Okay, thanks. Girly, what's your poison? Uh, just same as him, I guess. Uh, I thought. Don't the demons torture the humans? How come everyone's just hanging out like it's happy hour at Chili's? <laughs> Look, nobody here wants to be doing what they're doing. It's a job, and people understand that. Most people. And when your shift's over, you drink with whatever dangling eyeballs in front of you. The nicer ones, anyway. <laughs> it's a job? Then who's the boss? I'll give you a hint. He co-wrote the Bible with Santa Claus. It's the big I am. The million dollar man. God. Interesting. I thought we were friends. How could you not tell me? Why would I need to tell you dolls can't really talk? Can it, you two? I warned you once already. One more outburst, you and everyone near you are getting their feet nailed to the top of Mount Vasectomy. Oh, wait. <laughs> Maybe we should just egg those two idiots on. Oh. The bouncer will have to deal with it, and then we can go upstairs. The bouncer will have to... How do you even know that'll happen? Doesn't that seem like... It... Hey, fellas. Beer pong, huh? Uh, my my dorm room was next to the guy who won his league tournament. That's awesome. You know what would be even more awesome? If he could stop talking and never start again. Hey now, Artesia's consumer of negligent fathers, that's not cool. <laughs> Milo, right? You want to play around? Oh. It's really simple. <laughs> Easy to learn, hard to master, right? Oh, God. Awesome, yeah, definitely. I've always wanted to play. I've just never, you know, been asked to. Yeah, it's okay. I can tell. Oof. Lola, okay. You and me, bright eyes. I'm going to wreck you. Lola, do you want to, uh, to play? Let's dance. Let's dance. Fuck him up, Lola. Gather round, everyone. This chickadee thinks she's a rooster already. Well, I eat people who eat roosters for breakfast. <laughs> hey, all right. You make more well-wishers with honey than with vinegar. <laughs> no, it's okay, guys. We really pride ourselves on our ability to trash talk down here. 
It's like, even if you lose, if you got in a few verbal jabs along the way, a few witty rejoinders, yeah, should take your shot, shithead. Or we can just call each other names, you know, whichever's faster. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, whatever. Let's take a drink. Here we go. Oh, are you chicken now? Should we bring out the oven? Get a roast. It's Woo! lucky in hell once a century, so I hope that was worth it. Don't get too comfortable. This will take about as long as your dick. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, you always gotta take a drink, don't you? Oh boy. You can do it. Yeah, you're ready to oh. your life. Oh, come on. Does your family know you're this bad at this? Because someone should tell them. See what I got. Hey, shouldn't there be an Amber Alert right about now? This asshole's skills are missing. That <laughs> <laughs> Thomas likes me. Come on, Lola. Crap! Someone put her out of her misery. Jesus. Tell me the truth. When you were born, the condom manufacturer had to issue an apology, right? <laughs> We're not doing so hot, chat. Oh! Boom, shaka -laka. We gotta drink cause he uh Lola, he nailed it, up. right? This is tough. Nice. <laughs> right in, baby. Nice whiff. Fuck this. Do it, Lola. Oh, I gotta go higher. Don't worry about it. Give me one more chance. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Fine. Boom. What did I tell you, huh? Humans are good for two things. Beating them in beer pong and eating their babies. A dick for brains. I wasn't even trying. What do you think about that? What do I think about it? I think I can smell a liar when they're a cat fart away from me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. The kid's still a hoot, right? <laughs> this will take as long as your dick. Come on, she's a howler. I'm inviting them, all right? Eh, they're goofy looking enough. You guys want to hang out more? I'm throwing a little party upstairs. Yes. Just tell the big guy your name, and I'll put you on the list. Awesome. Thanks. Nice. We made it on the You're list. You're awesome. Let's go get Sam before he looks at us again and changes his mind. Let's get a drink. Need a drink? Got one. I'm good. Milo needs one though. Uh, two grave robbers. What kind of whiskey? Well, if I knew I would get the third degree, I wouldn't have even bothered. What can I get you? Let's try. So it kind of like gives you options, huh? A pair of anguish, I think. Cool. So now they're both equipped to go ahead and have extra dialogue choices. That's kind of what I wanted, right? There we go, now we can move. Let's go upstairs, guys! <clears throat> Forget something. Good sir, I believe we're on the list. Your parents must be proud. Hey, you know, we we should be friends. Seriously, I mean, what's your name? Do you, do you have a name? Do demon bouncers have names? Or are you like, like a doorknob or something? Oh! I hate this job. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Let's keep the pogo stick hopping. He's called him a doorknob. This is where the party's this, at. Uh, wait, is this even the same bar? Welcome, welcome to Tommy Tulaney's Death Day Celebration. I saw you two talking to Tommy downstairs. Are you a victim or a fan? Wait, the, the guy we were... That's Thomas Tulaney, the serial killer? What? 
Kidnapped, tortured, and killed 13 young men over a period of six years. Yes, sir, Bob. What? Never caught, though. What's the death day? Uh, not that this isn't probably obvious, but what's a death? A death day? Yeah, words can be confusing. This is Tommy's first year in hell. We like to kind of go full helicopter mom for the paper anniversary. Don't ask me why. Full helicopter mom? Yes. What's a helicopter mom? And I hope it's not like a long boob joke. She's over on the balcony talking with Fornius. Okay. Long balcony. Well, not over here. Hey, thanks for, for coming out. Really, I appreciate it. I can't believe it's just been a year. Feels a lot shorter and longer, you know? Oh, definitely. Was a uh, companion's not able to make it? Oh, overprotective endearing mom. Device. Okay. So when I thought helicopter mom, I wasn't thinking overprotective endearing mom. I was thinking like mom with huge tits and she like helicopters them around. <laughs> kind of like helicopter dick, except with giant boobs. He really did, buddy. <laughs> it's stupid. It won't but he's take gained long. so much weight recently. How do you know it won't take long. Something like this could take all fucking week. <clears throat> Lady, gentlemen. Forney. <laughs> Gah, that guy. You give him an inch, he takes a really long conversation. Sorry that took a while. How'd you even get up here? We sort of made friends with Thomas, the night scalper to Laney, so. Yay! Lola here lost to his buddy in Blood Palm, but talked such good smack he invited us up. Wow. I'm impressed. <laughs> You're a little old for Delaney. You know, but with Milo's head of hair, I can I can see the appeal, actually. What uh, what did Fornius want? You guys seem pretty, uh, secretive. Eh. Don't say secretive like that. It's disgusting. But I can't really get into it, because I don't really want to. I'll just say that I think his eyes are bigger than his stomach. Ooh. Listen, Sam, it's been a fun uh, hour, or however long we've been here, but we really, we really want to get out, if possible. We just, we want to go home. See that big mansion down the way? The one having the party? That's Satan's house. He throws a rager every night, invites the fucking universe, tries to keep everybody's spirits up. You see, hell's been in a bit of a low period recently. And by recently, I mean like the last thousand years. Nowhere in the nine circles, they used to be a place of, you know, creativity. Of uncompromised refusal to go to bed when you're told. We were the scribbled in margins and God's field guide, you know? And now, well, now people just like to get shit-faced. And I don't really know who we are anymore. What? Okay, but why are you telling us this? I feel like I'm talking to my uncle about how great Brooklyn used to be. I'm telling you this because it deserves context. What deserves context? You see, chums, there's one old practice that's stayed around. And Satan has a standing offer to anyone that wants to try. You outdrink him, you outparty him, you earn his respect. He opens the door and lets you go back home. Back to Earth. Alive. To do whatever you want to do. Until <laughs> He's you going down. Else. Okay, well, has anyone ever, like, done it? Oh, sure. I mean, not since. When was Buddha farting around again? <laughs> 500 years before Christ. Okay, well, there you go. And I think there was a velociraptor before him. Okay, so, yeah, okay, um... But you're saying the only way out of hell is out drink the Prince of Lies? We call him the Prince of Partying down here, but yes, you have to out party the Prince of Partying. Okay. <laughs> when was Buddha for Lola, <laughs> Milo, welcome to the show. Now, if you don't mind, I got other fares to pick up, so if you want to head to Lucifer's, now's the time. Well, there's nothing else to do, so yeah, let's go. Now let's go. Well, Chad, I think I'm going to end this first part here. This has been After Party. <clears throat> Seems really, 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 really interesting. It is a game where you have to outdrink the devil to go ahead and make it back alive. Made by the same folks that did Oxenfree or the same company. Loaded up with incredibly talented voice actors. I'm sure you guys can tell. If you want to see more of this game, say bye to YouTube chat. We are streaming this on twitch.tv slash swingpoint. We do it just about every single day. So if you want to see some of that, that's your opportunity to do so. 
The link will be in the description. <clears throat> and yeah, it's great. We'll be playing this. We'll be playing Death Stranding when that comes out. We'll be playing Pokemon Sword and Shield. We'll be playing Luigi's Mansion in a couple of days. If any of that sounds like something you'd be interested in, let me know. Pop on in and we'll be glad to have you. So thank you guys for being here. This is great. And then I'll see you guys in the next video that we do around here.